Lithuania. This is the only Libya that the Lithuanians can probably afford to go to in bulk. And it's all fun, because, I mean, look at these little things. They're all well but jolly, wooden, and um, it's all a sort of a sight. I don't know what a pantomime world really it looks at. I like, and I should think all the hotels are probably very clean. It's spotlessly clean in the streets. And all these sort of amusement arcades, lots of colours, lots of trinkets being sold, lots of quick, fast food. And uh, it's not, um, it, it's not Santa Fe, Monte Carlo, or Nice, or anything like that. But it's jolly good value, and I should think that Lithuanians enjoy coming here. Fedor and I now are coming. You'd better come with us too and see what it's like. in old Klaipeda, the wonderful old city, which is really much the most attractive part of this industrial city that's left. And these uh, warehouses, they were warehouses, it's rather a mundane name, uh, built in the 19th century, but have now been turned into cafes and bars. This is where society collects in, in uh, Klaipeda. And it really is, it's a most exciting old city, this. We're going to walk around and have just a look. Here behind me is a wonderful example of the early architecture in the old city here at Klaipeda. And it survived, well, two world wars. It's amazing, really, hasn't it? The old city has survived remarkably well. But it's wonderfully... Here we have a little bit of local mythology. Um, lovely statue, not exactly a statue, a monument. Goodness knows what it's too. One of the other lovely features, though, of the old town here is that the, all the streets are cobbled, and it's really delightful. And they're elderly cobbles, too, which is uh, splendid. You never know quite what you're going to come across in this old city of Clypeda. Here we got a lovely mouse, <laughs> brass mouse that's smiling at us. I have no idea why it's here, but it's a wonderfully charming thing to find on that little street corner. Well, behind me, we've got what the locals here in Clypeda refer to as the Eiffel Tower of the city. It is actually a boat that was built by the Finns, and it's been here for a long, long time and with these wonderfully colorful sails. And it's something that um, people, whenever they come here to um, Klaipeda to visit, like, like to come and see this. I hope this is where Swanee and I are going to be performing soon. But you know, I don't think he's the Lithuanians up to much, but there we are. It is, it's a marvelous square, this would be the square. Well, this is, I think, the amber capital of the world. And all these stores are selling the most wonderful amber. And we went this morning to a wonderful amber museum. And everything, every street corner has got amber here, amber there. It's wonderful. When you put it in your hand, it glistens at you. And it, it's a magical color. We're still in the Fiesta Square. Now I've got behind me this wonderful old town. I mean, really, it could be La Scala, couldn't it? I mean, it's terrific stuff. And the atmosphere here is really amazing. The fires all around the square. The stalls selling the whole thing back. It's brilliant stuff. Anyway, time to stay here this evening. We can nip in here and I'm sure have an absolutely delicious dinner. These fun little restaurants are tucked away and this is a marvelous example. The museum in, in the park built this uh, big house in uh, 1897. It's a little bit Germanic and four square of the house, but the collection of amber inside is simply amazing. And I had no idea quite how amber came from the resin and um, tree trunks and what have you. And it is extraordinary the way spiders and flowers and things are permanently preserved in it. And then, of course, there was a shop, which was entirely fascinating. So it's been a tremendous trip. And this was a monument of the Sinti of Christ. Um, it is a monument to all the people in New Alien who perished. And, um, of course, there is the museum, built by this very rich man in 1893, and it's become the most extraordinary amber museum. As we And look at the wonderful wooded path we're walking back. These gardens are, are manicured as far as the lawns are concerned and the flowers, but all the forest has been kept as it is, and it is absolutely wonderful. Isn't it wonderful? Just look at the flowers, look at everything, the amber inside, and all of this. Absolutely magnificent. My hat's blown off. Well, my goodness me, it's hot here today, and this particular oasis we've stopped at, thank goodness, supplies Peroni. Oh, good help.